speaking of live we are watching simpson season 2 episode 9 this is called itchy and scratchy and mart so what makes mart so itchy so scratchy is it the crabs we will soon find out and before we continue we have a new member in our family he came here from a galaxy far far away it took his time because it's millions of light years away from us but finally this alien creature from a different universe from a different planet is now with us and i would like to introduce you to bob this is bob and bob likes to chill bob likes to chill and watch movies and tv shows so he's gonna be watching some tv shows with us no 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 before you say this is not yoda this is not grogu this is bob okay and bob would appreciate it if you would call him bob now Without any further ado, let's jump right into this. If you're not subscribed, Bob, tell him. Hit subscribe. And if you want to watch the full length reaction video of this episode and the movies and TV shows that I do, you can head down to my Patreon. It's a wonderful way to support the channel and get early access to all of my videos over there. Tell him, Bob. If you don't subscribe, I can kill you. Bob, super chill. <laughs> so, people, let's start at this in three, two, one, go. Nothing special. The extra ingredient is care. Mm, a sprinkle of chervo, half a teaspoon of turmeric, you know, and a whisper. No matter what people say, if somebody is cooking the food with love, you will taste it. Uh, like, you would taste so much better. Me? It's no trouble. I got a whole garage full of tools I never use. Hey, kids. I spy itchy and scratchy. Oh, he's back. I thought he was like a millionaire or something. Hey, down in front. Shut up, boy. Bye-bye. 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 Okay, okay. Itchy and scratchy, a Tom and Jerry. <laughs> That's what cartoon was, or is, I don't know. <laughs> we loved watching it. The complete Spice handyman's bookshelves. Volume 1. Spice Rack. Is that Trojan Horses, Volume 3? A hammer. Mm -hmm. Now smash your head. <laughs> he even got a price tag on it. Not as easy as I thought oh, I was. Okay. Yeah, this is shit, Homer. You should know what you're making. This is shit. Ooh. It does not look like that at all. Wow. <laughs> 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 That's what cartoons are teaching. <laughs> He's dead. Is he dead? No. <laughs> hey, Dad, can you move your head? No, I can't. Can you move somewhere else? Where would an innocent child get the idea to attack her father with a mallet? Where did he get the mallet? And why aren't you looking at her? Oh my god, next would be a knife. <laughs> no, Maggie, bad baby. Keep her away from bad baby. Crazy look in her eyes again. <laughs> so television's responsible. Yes, it's always the te TV. Well, you won't be watching these cartoons anymore, ever. But mom, if you take our cartoons away, we'll grow up without a sense of humor and be robots. <laughs> no. I don't know why Bart and Lisa are so late getting home from school. Watching cartoons. <laughs> <laughs> See, I never get to do that. I like watch cartoons with friends <laughs> and their home. <laughs> I mean, when we used to go to a friend's place used to only study i suppose i'm cataloging the violence in these cartoons i don't think adults have ever actually sat down and watched them before ah! i still watch them i mean i'm watching one right now ah! what kind of what human being would find that funny hey come on it was funny <laughs> <laughs> it was a scream right before the blow up. I think 
like it's suitable for younger and more impressionable viewers? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but what are you gonna do? I'll tell you what I'm going to do. Call the I'm network. going to write a letter. This one before Twitter times. Now you can cancel people on Twitter. In regards to your specific comments about the show, our research indicates that one person cannot make a difference, no matter how big a screwball she is. Uh, so let me close by well. saying... And the horse I rode in on! <laughs> oh, wow. I'll show them what one screwball yeah. can do! <laughs> Let's go, March. Whip them with your hair. Wapak. I'll protest him because it is what you have done. I'm responsible for my husband being hit in the head with a mug. But again, why does your kid has a mullet, right? Why does your kid has this wooden hammer? And why uh, is your kid unattended like that, going in basement all alone? It's your fault. That reminds me. I gotta get over to Millhouse's and play sports. All right. And I'm going over to Janie's again. We're gonna be um Stubby. making the most of our childhood years. Have fun. We will. She's so grown up for a kid, though. Most of the childhood years. What child would say that? Happens when a child grows up with insanely violent role models like these? The answer oh, right. People is are all oh, right. around you. How many of okay, you were hit on the head with mallets last week? Yeah! All yeah. right, oh, shit. <laughs> hmm, I didn't I know they still made TV dinners do... this big. Thanks. But they see on TV. I mean, I tried flying. It didn't work out. Okay, I fell down the bed and then I got slapped by my mother. You're like, what a dumb kid. What a dumb, dumb kid. Let me slap. Let me slap him some sense. Some of your patented pork chops. Mm, sure. Oh, dear, I can't. I've got three protest rallies tomorrow. <laughs> Don't! 20 million women in the world and I had to marry Jane Fonda. Hi, kids. <laughs> now we're fine. Everybody better than much. I'm really sorry for. Oh my God! I'm so sorry for posting it first. I'm really sorry for if if I yawn a lot in this video. The thing is, I slept at six in the morning, and then I got up at ten for my dentist appointment, and I've been up since. Okay, it's two in the afternoon. So please, don't mind me if I yawn. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry. Bob says sorry. <laughs> Please, stop it! What's going- Who are you people? What do we want? Yes, 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 yes. What do we want? Now! No! Wait, why Krusty is responsible for this stuff? <laughs> this is Krusty's production. Oh, lady, be quiet, quiet. What do we want? living here, alright? Stop! What did Krusty do? We've got to stop her. But how? Drop an anvil on her? Hit her on the head with a <laughs> Stuff her full of TNT, then throw a match down her throat and run. All your fancy degrees and that's the best you can do? Bitch was trying to kill- She was thinking of killing her! You wouldn't be surprised though, you know, big corporation killing a person for them is like nothing. Yeah. She's gonna make- Oh, he's gonna make her cocktail. <laughs> I'm so funny. Yeah. Good. I never knew mice lived such interesting lives. Hmm. So much needless brutality. Oh, I don't know if I'm having any impact oh, at all. Oh, oh. Don't do that! Don't do that! We don't get them in India. I just got received a parcel from my friend abroad. So I'm gonna try some smoking bacon chips. Take that, you dumb squirrel! <laughs> Here's all the bacon pilot. Where did they get their ideas? What is it? What? Smart line? Yes, I've heard of your late night panel discussion show. <laughs> it smells like bacon. But it doesn't taste like bacon. It smells like it. 100% great British potatoes. British. Don't know what's so special about them. Maybe I should not be eating chips while I have stitches in my mouth because this fucking hurts. It's tingling. Fuck. It feels like somebody lifted it on fire. At the same time, I can. Tastes buds, of course, because it's chips. And smell bacon, but it's fucking hot. So we're gonna continue with this shit. Right. And welcome to another edition of Smartline. 
Are cartoons too violent for children? Most people would say, no, of course not. What kind of stupid question is that? But one woman well, says, they are. Yes. They are violent and kids love it. That's what I loved as a kid, to be honest. <laughs> I've seen that shit. <laughs> and joining us live via satellite from Vienna, the home of Sigmund Freud, the world's most famous psychiatrist, to give us <laughs> world's an insight into the human mind. Dr. Isn't Marvin he Monroe. the guy who said that I will pay you money if I don't fix you and then he has to pay Simpsons money? Fucking hell. That's all the excitement is about. Here's an example of the work currently being turned out. World famous Studios. psychiatrist. They couldn't find anything scratchy. Is that okay? Even when his dad is blown. <clears throat> Hilarious. It is, to be honest. I think that is a bunch of baloney. And here's bunch why. Of preparing baloney. for this debate, I did a little research and I discovered a startling thing. There was violence in the past long before cartoons were invented. I see. Fascinating. Yeah, and there was something called the Crusades, for instance. Also, back in my days, oh, not my days, to be honest, but I've seen some cartoons, like the old cartoons, with, where they would reference Hitler. Uh, Hitler would come out of nowhere, or there'll be people saying Heil Hitler or Zeke Heil, you know, stuff like that, in the cartoons. Zeke Heil! And now you may, you see cartoons, they're like, oh, you can represent me as they and them. I identify as they and them, not he and she or whatever the fuck. In my time, it was Zeke Heil. And I also use they and them, because calling me a she or a he doesn't feel right to me. It changed. A lot of things have changed. Tremendous violence. Many people killed. The darn thing went on for 30 years. And this was before cartoons were invented. No, oh, that's right, Kent. So much. Of course, there were wars at the time. I don't know. I'm, I'm referring here to, to women who love too much, fear of winning, sexaholism, stuff like that. So you have so no like professional that. objection to itchy and scratchy? No, no. not at all. Okay. In fact, uh, one of my <laughs> guilty little pleasures yeah, is of to course, he likes it. up with a big bucket of buttered popcorn, dim the lights, turn... You know, there's no age for cartoon, guys. Even if you are like 90 year old, you would love to enjoy cartoons. Mrs. Simpson, in the nine seconds we have left, can you summarize your position for us? Yes, I'd like to ask all the parents in Springfield who are concerned about this to write in and let the cartoon makers know how you feel. Thank you. Ah, uh, well, I will never watch your I don't know. show you by can any change of it At the same time, it's the kid's or fault, right? She should have been the there with a the kid. What? When she's not there, you, your kid could do anything. If you have drugs laying around, she could take the drugs. You can't blame TV for that shit. Gentlemen, the screwballs have God spoken. Damn. Right. The people don't want to cancel. You know the cartoon that I really love? Curry is the cowboy dog. That was the best fucking hell. I used to get scared of that shit. That was fucking spooky shit. Simpson? Especially yes. that barber. The Marge Simpson who fixed it so cartoons can't be violent anymore? Yes. This is Myers. I'm here with the writers. Uh, listen, you're so smart. How do we end this picture? Hmm. Well, what's the Okay. Yeah, she'll help. Here it is. Itchy just stole Scratchy's ice cream cone. And I'll make it a pie. Pies are easier to draw. Okay. A pie. <laughs> so, what's your big idea? How do we end this? Hmm, let's see. Oh, couldn't Itchy share his pie with Scratchy? Yeah. Both okay. Have pie. The ratings gonna go down. This show will be shit. Uh, right. We carry on, we move on. It's a tool that every home handyman needs. It's Damn. a jigsaw, it's a power drill, it's a wood turning lathe, it's an asphalt spreader, it's 67 tools in one. How much would you pay for a machine that can do all this? $1,000. Oh, don't answer <laughs> yet. Oh, sorry. Because he knew, they knew. There are people like Simpsons. Cartoons again, Mom? Yes, dear, all you want. Yeah, your all mother right. is a writer now. Turn it up. Hey, kids. Time for itchy and scratchy. <sighs> itchy and shit. Okay. Okay. <laughs> yeah, the show is gonna go to shit. Please, oh. I made it okay. just for you. You are my best friend. Really like this is gonna be shit. Itchy and Scratchy it seem to have lost their edge. Oh, Not the edge. It's your nice mother. Yes, shit. your mother lost the edge. That's what it is. <laughs> God damn. Oh, hey, <laughs> thank up. you, Maggie. Mm, it's getting it's fun. Mm. Well, I suppose so, Maggie is learning something, uh, learning to share. I don't know. Okay, okay this is wasn't some ridiculous that funny episode. Boys to be and girls? Well, wasn't it? 
No, it wasn't. Aren't you going to watch the rest of your cute cartoons? Nah, come on, Lise. Maybe there's something else to do on this planet. <laughs> okay. Ruin. At <laughs> least pissed but off. Bowl of porridge. Does everybody have different episodes? Who's that? Why isn't she yellow? Why is she brown? The kids are like, let's play outside. Okay. For first time in ages, we're gonna go in the garden and hippity hop, do the skateboarding shit. I suppose they get physical exercise, maybe, you know? Good for them. No more cartoons, but that could not be the, just the only cartoon they were watching. I, I'm sure this guy is somewhere else in a different show, in a Charlie Brown show, I think. Hi, kids. It's Krusty the Crab. <laughs> there is no kid. <laughs> there is literally nobody. And Janie and I went bird watching. We saw a grackle. Oh, that's nice, nice. dear. Come on, Lise. Let's go finish our soapbox race. Kids bird watching oh. and adult bird watching are two separate things, isn't it? Can you turn the light off? Oh, what? Great kids. Oh, I think the, this is a the golden age, the March, on this and one, the though. parents of Springfield owe it all to you. Hmm, I didn't really expect things to change this much. Well, I always knew you'd change the world. For Did the you? better. Okay. This will be the art event. Florence, the Italy. <laughs> it has to be like this. Italy. <laughs> it graphically portrays parts of the human body, which practical as they may be, are evil. But I like that statue. <gasps> I told you she was soft on full frontal nudity. Come on, girls. <sighs> well, she wanted to protect her kids, okay? She didn't want her kids to be... It's all about? What do you people want? We Killers. want you to get her big Italian butt Or, you know, blow here. people up with TNT Smart and dynamite. Line, local Emmy Award winning host, Kent Brockman. Is it a masterpiece? Or just some <laughs> guy with his pants down? That's oh. our topic tonight on Smartline. Now, Mrs. Simpson... It is a masterpiece. Somebody, like, handcrafted ish stuff. Aren't you Marge Simpson the wacko? <laughs> the wacko. Mm, yes and no. Hold it, hold it, hold it. How can you be for one form of freedom of expression like a... Live or sad life? Is it in Greece? And be against another form like a... Uh, itchy and scratchy. Marvin Monroe. Good question. Marvin Monroe. Well, I guess I can. No, Melvin Monroe is Marvin Monroe. Tunes. Oh, yeah? Well, what do you have to say to all those Marge Simpson wannabes out there who wish to suppress David's doodle? <sighs> mm, I don't know. I guess one person can tell them the truth that you were trying to protect your kids. I guess that settles that. Uh, I'd like to alert our affiliates that we, we will be ending our show early tonight. Join us tomorrow when our topic will be religion, which is the one true faith. <laughs> no, you don't want that. <laughs> I mean, the ratings will be fucking high for the show. <laughs> but people will be screaming at the camera. No, the camera, at the TV. That's the shit. Now she's gonna go find a gun. <laughs> she wants to kill her dad. What's wrong, Marge? Oh, I mean, uh, here oh, the kids oh, have oh. a chance to see a great work of art, and instead they're home watching a cat and mouse disembowel each other. Hey, don't worry, Marge. <laughs> kids. Pretty soon, every boy and girl at Springfield Elementary School is gonna come and see this thing. Really? Why? They're forcing them! <laughs> okay. All right. Oh. <laughs> Isn't that nice? I suppose the reason why that is okay is because Michelangelo took a rock and saw this guy and then handcrafted him and his penis and all of his body actually and pubes as well. Handcrafted. So people would want to see that and it's been preserved for how many long? For so for so many years. With that cartoon, you just you know, teaching kids how to shoot or have a knife. But yeah, people, that was this episode of The Simpsons. Hope you guys enjoyed this reaction. And uh, we get to learn more about Marge. We get to learn that at least, you know, Marge is there out to help her kids. But she want to help her kids by destroying this TV show. But at the same time, she don't want to be with the kids or she want to see what they're doing. Like she left her toddler 
with a fucking hammer. How would she got a hammer? Who the fuck knows? She has a gun. She got a hammer. She got a fucking knife. She got everything. So I think that's where Marge's fault is. If she would to just look at her kid, she would. She, I don't think she need to like change the cartoons, because we saw much worse cast cartoons when we were kids. I think cartoons are much worse in terms of storyline now. It's so much worse. Like I was watching cartoon with my nephew the other day, and the all the thing was how these two brother hate each other and they destroy home stuff because they don't like each other. And I'm like, do you really want kids to see this? Oh shit! I'm becoming one of them. Oh fuck! Oh fuck! Not to worry. Not to worry. Wait a minute. But yeah, guys. Hope you guys enjoyed this reaction. If you did, please do leave a like, comment, subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. And if you want to watch a full interaction video, you can watch it on Patreon. If you have not subscribed to my channel, Bob is here and Bob is judging you. So hit subscribe, hit hit that like button, and leave a comment down below for Bob. Let me know what you think. That's been it. Hope you all have a great day, and I will see you guys tomorrow. Goodbye.